Hi, I'm Ross Friesen, and you're about to view a sample of In Jeopardy! No Games with Drugs. This is the interactive drug education program that Alcohol Drug Education Service can put in high school classrooms across Canada once we find funding to make it happen. I've got Jay and Janice here to help with our demonstration. Hi, Ross. Hello, Ross. Okay, let's get started. Ross, wait a minute. How come Alex Trebek isn't doing this? Sorry, Jay, he wasn't available. But I'm Canadian too, eh? Well, why aren't we on camera? No one can see us. Because we can't afford it. This program isn't funded yet. Okay, are we ready to get started? Janice, please pick a category. I'll try You'll Die Laughing for 200. And the answer is, this Blues Brother was also an Animal House goofball who was killed by a speedball. Who is John Belushi? One of the original Saturday Night Live cast, Belushi was a notorious partier. Late one night in 1982, a female friend injected him with a combination of cocaine and heroin, commonly called a speedball. It killed him at the age of 33. It's still your turn, Janice. Rock on for 200. And the answer is, this song title proved prophetic for what lead singer who drank himself to death within a year of its 1979 release. It's not Elvis. Who is Bon Scott? You're in business, Jay. ACDC has sold more than 200 million albums worldwide, but Scott missed out on most of the band's success. He was only 33 when he passed out drunk and drowned in his own vomit. The coroner calling it Death by Misadventure. Please pick again. How about Gang Bang for 200? And the answer is, this Canadian Hall of Fame wrestler claimed to be the world's strongest man, but he was helpless against a hail of mob bullets in 1993. I've no idea. Dino Bravo. I love professional wrestling. Correct. Bravo was 44 when he was gunned down watching hockey in his Quebec mansion. It is widely believed that his role in cigarette smuggling led to a mafia hit on the man born as Adolfo Bregiano. Your turn again, Janice. Tough guys for 400. He was tough in the Magnificent Seven, but this Russian-born Oscar winner was a king of stage as well as screen. Yul Brenner. He starred in The King and I. Ladies and gentlemen, the late Yul Brenner. I really wanted to make a commercial when I discovered that I was that sick and my time was so limited. I wanted to make that commercial that says simply, now that I'm gone, I tell you, don't smoke. Whatever you do, just don't smoke. Let's keep going, Janice. Ross, give me unsporting Canucks for 600. And the answer is, this famous NHL enforcer won a Stanley Cup, but lost his life to alcohol, steroids, and cocaine in a suburban Quebec motel before his 28th birthday. Who is John Cordick? You're right, Jay, not bad for a Yankee. His rage on the ice didn't end with the sound of the horn. It took eight police and two sets of handcuffs to subdue Cordick the night he died en route to the hospital. The coroner said he had more cocaine in his system than anyone I've seen in 20 years. Please pick another. I'll take rock on for $1,000. Ah, Jay, you hit this daily double. It's your chance to catch up. Ross, I'll bet everything I've got. Okay, here goes. And the answer is, this enables youth across Canada to learn dramatically about the risks and extent of substance abuse. Beats me. Janice, do you know? I do know. What is dead end fatal addiction? That's right, Janice. Looks like you win. But we can't continue without funding. We'll have a full, real, in jeopardy game in schools across the country just as soon as someone lets us make it possible. Thank you, Ross. I appreciate it, Ross. Well, this has been fun, but the real purpose of in jeopardy is very, very serious. When I think of people saying smoking looks sexy, I think of back in the, the 50s or whatever when they when they glorified it. I knew all the negative effects of smoking. Heart disease, lung disease, cancer, impotence, stroke, emphysema, diabetes, gum disease, high blood pressure, stomach ulcers, chrome disease, cataracts, angina, leukemia, chronic bronchitis, premature aging of the skin, gangrene. There you go. That is a huge that's, factor that's in not wanting to smoke because that's just terrible. It's <laughs> just a terrible thing. I'm definitely going to be quitting before anything like that happens. <laughs> when I found that out, I'm just like, I'm still young. Of course. <laughs> I do not want to have to use Viagra when I get older. 30 or like 40, like really bad chemicals. 43 known and 2,000 unknown. 40 or 50. There are over 4,000 toxic chemicals in every cigarette, including arsenic, even cyanide, 
That's nuts. It's brutal how much money it costs. If you got hooked to the point that it's almost a pack a day or half a pack a day, that's super expensive. People at school pay like a dollar for smokes because they can't buy packs yet because they're not 19 or whatever. You try to hold off smoking as much because you know that it's going to be another $10 you're dishing out. Over 11 years of cigarette smoking, I've probably spent close to thirty or $35,000. You know, you got a part-time job and you're sinking all your money into smokes. That's your down payment on a house or that's a brand new car. And if I had known that when I was 18 years old, I wouldn't have started in the first place. As awareness grew to the harmful effects of smoking, people started to quit. You might be thinking of quitting in the future, but there are plenty of good reasons why sooner is better than later. And the benefits of quitting start immediately. Every time we take something from Mother Earth, we offer tobacco. There's so many ways to use tobacco in a healthy, traditional way. So this is our Indian tobacco, and it grows here in Chilliwack Lake on the mountain, and we use it for ceremonial purposes. The overall risk uh, that your baby will die in the newborn period is increased overall from a normal mom who's not smoking by about 40 percent. So it's, it's substantial. Well, the specific uh, hazards to an infant whose mother smokes in pregnancy is that they are much more likely to end up needing special care. For the first two months of his life he was in an incubator. The, his life was at risk. He was, the possibility of him dying was like at 90 percent. I smoke um, a pack, a pack and a half a day. I have two kids. My one daughter suffers from asthma. It's been uh, a real hard thing for, um, for the, our family to deal with. I want a healthy um, lifestyle, and if I had children, I'd want them to be healthy. How you are is how your kids will be. So if you're a smoker, so are your kids. I went out and had a cigarette, and he says, why do you do that? He says, don't you know it's x The X means poison. If you're a teenager who smokes and you decide to quit, go online to quitforlife.com where you will fill out a personalized profile and each week you will be asked to complete four or five activities online which will help you learn about why you smoke, how to quit, and how to stay quit once you get there. I hate to see that unborn child harmed and to have you harm a child before it's even born, I really suggest that's not a good part of being a parent.